We went in for a little bit of lunch and uh, Wayne and I changed our strategy a little bit. Sun, sun started coming out, you know, uh, we knew that them gobblers were going to crank up. So we went to a new area. And let me tell you, we moved up on this little ridge and Wayne went to cutting at them and so did I. And gobblers fired up all around. I mean, we had gobblers gobbling in every direction. And we made a decision to go down to this little oak mott and set up in there and got in there and got all set up. And uh, here I am in a black t-shirt, shining away. But I put the rest of my lost camo on and we sat down there and uh, started calling. Wayne and I both were calling back and forth, making it sound like more than one hen. And uh, we had a gobbler to crank up and he came running. I mean, he ran 150 yards, 200 yards, run to us. And he was begging to be, you know, be shot. That's all it was to it. Uh, got 25 yards from me and he went behind some brush that I thought was thick enough for me to draw. I mean, he was throwing up dirt and hauling the mail to get out of there. <laughs> you know, it wasn't five minutes right after that gobbler ran off. We were starting doing some more calling, and I mean, here they come. They was not wasting any time. Three long beards, and I mean, they was covering the ground quick. <laughs> did I redeem myself? Great what shot. Thank you. How did you shoot through all that? I picked a spot. <laughs> Great job, man. Oh, man. Killer Miller strikes again. You redeemed yourself from last night. Thank you. Oh, man. Let me tell you, folks. You have no idea the thrill I just got through. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Wayne. <laughs> I don't see how you pull that off. Look at this stuff. You had to shoot through. I know it. I, just, I found a spot. And I said he's 40 yards. And I, when he stepped in there and, and a 40 yard pin was on him, I pushed him. Look the bird. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about excitement in the middle of the day. Now see, I went to my lucky cap. <laughs> I can't believe this. You're talking about it, it, when, when it happens, it happens. And this one come together like you would believe. I can't wait to go. Let's go get see my bird. I'm going to go first and see if I, where I can find that arrow. Holy buckets. Look at the feathers. Big old dominant winged feather. And he, he ain't rubbed out either. He's not been strutting. This bird hasn't. But look at the feathers. I mean, everywhere. I mean, oh, me. Look at the water feathers right here. There are feathers 10 yards over there. 30 yards that way. There's gobbler, see him, Wayne? Look at that gobbler laying there. He's toast right there. Oh, man, this is a dandy. Oh, this is a good, look at the spurs on this bird. Oh, look at the beard on this bird. Oh, now that's a, look at that beard. Oh, and look at the spurs on him. He's got an inch spurs at least. This is a three-year-old gobbler. And still carrying the air, oh man, perfect shot. Oh, big buckets. We're talking about a whole 
you know, just, that arrow hit him quartering away, went up into the body cavity. He never knew what hit him. This is a gorgeous bird. Three beards. Triple, a triple, three beards. Look at that. I haven't killed a three beard bird in my lifetime. By the way, Chad Stevenson, Lucy Wildlife Technology, thank you so much for allowing us to come in and hog hunt with you and turkey hunt. Great time here in Llano, Texas, in the hill country.